Hey everyone, it's the Underground here, and welcome to another reaction video. Uh, my friend Jeffrey, aka the Mashed Potato Dude, uh, wanted me to react to this, so I'm like, alright, let's give this a watch. So, um, I guess this is a two part video, so Optimus Prime vs. Thomas the Tank Engine. I don't know how this is gonna work, but here we go. So, starting in 3, 2, 1. This episode of Death Race is brought to you by DoorDash! Rooster Teeth. Oh, Rooster Teeth. Hello and welcome everybody to the Rooster Cool animation. Death Race! Where the only rule is do anything you can to come in first or uh, don't die. Gotta be honest, we kinda have to wait until things <laughs> shake out day to day, but no matter. Today we shall visit the trap in oil! And that's a metaphor for blood, by the way, because today's cars are alive, I tell you! Alive! <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I gotta stop drinking absinthe before shows. <laughs> Alright, here we go. First up is Optimus Prime, proud leader of the Autobots! This simple Freightliner FL86 semi truck exterior belies the heart and soul of a warrior and the body of a giant robot! Despite being from an alien planet, he's 100% American. You can tell from the, the red, white, and blue and the brutal murder of an anime pretty boy. His only <laughs> weakness? Cheating! If he ever did that, he'd end it all right there. Itchy. Even if it's only a video game. This Roy proper airy bottle jalopy may look like your box standard Ford Anglia 105E Deluxe. But with a dash of magic, this baby can fly and even turn invisible. And huh. best of all, yep. trapped inside are two terrified miners fresh out of Hogwarts on summer break. Hey, the race, you get to see your parents again. <laughs> Don't come down. One of them doesn't even have parents. Uh, Don't worry, folks. We haven't left uh, miles yet. Uh, my favorite engine. Thomas, the tank engine. He's the number one locomotive on the island of Sonar. Just look at him. He's a, he's a sweetheart. Yep. Nothing sinister hides behind those moon-shaped, dopey, soul-piercing eyes. <laughs> no horror is buried That's beneath cool. the baby blue sheets of steel. Well, the Shed 17, but that's another story. Don't look up that if you're younger. When he visited the town of Ray, Radiator Springs and did the good job. All right, let's just get on with it. Let's join our commentators, Wizard Boomstick, before the race. I'm coming down, anyways. Just like before, whoever makes it to the end first wins, but we don't care how they get there. No civilians on the track this time, Boomstick? Not this time, Wiz. Unless you want another bloodbath. Hmm. Maybe I should just go climb down there myself. I'm not stopping you. But we don't need civilians because the cars themselves are alive. Only in the face of certain death can one truly grapple with the... I'm surprised this is only seven minutes. You think it'd be longer, but okay. These shows. Right, talking shoulder gremlin? Same. <laughs> Do you even know what that word means, or are you just repeating things you hear? Good ciao? <laughs> the race is about to begin, but first a word about our gracious sponsor, DoorDash. Okay. DoorDash is the impeccable answer to one important question, how do I eat? <laughs> no kidding, that's kind of important. DoorDash is the app that brings the food you're craving right to you. Mm. No sweat on your part. They've got over 300,000 partners across the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, Australia, like everywhere. Ooh. And with current times, DoorDash is a superb way to support your local go-to restaurants or cool. national treasures like Chipotle or Cheesecake Factory. Seriously, there's so many options. Many of your favorite hotspots are still open for delivery, so use DoorDash to bring your faves directly to your front door now with contactless deliveries to keep you and your community safe. Get I'll keep that in mind. Right now you can get five dollars off and zero delivery fees on your first order of fifteen bucks or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code Death Race. So I gave me a second. My glasses keep falling off. I need new ones soon. DoorDash app in the app store and enter code Death Race. Don't forget that's code Death Race for five dollars off your first order with DoorDash. All right, here we go. Let's join our racers on the starting line. Huh. They're off, and well, Thomas takes an early lead. Yeah, Impressive makes sense. Thomas is really fast. Oh, you know, I think that's gonna be a problem. Yep. Can't go around the fence like that, Tommy. But the well, Thomas is dead. Up, the tunnel. Up, this goes in first, and it's 
gonna be a tight fit in there. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I get it. Yep, just like in the third movie. Cool. Yep. Ah, oh, nice job, Optimus. Okay, why not putting the machine gun? I knew he was pissed, but OP's after blood. Does lightning bleed? As we move down the track, we approach another deadly obstacle, the Whomping Willow. Oh, cool. Just like in the second movie. The animation's really good here. Left to go right. Nice job, Lightning. Optimus is probably gonna kill that tree. Yep. It's a trap left by those vile Decepticons. Clearly has nothing to do with Decepticons, Wiz, but I respect his gumption. You know, taken out of context, it almost sounds sort of robo racist. Dirty, <laughs> filthy, stated Decepticons. Whoops, Snape will be upset to see the Whomping Willow dead. Oh! Cool! Oh yeah, that's right! Thomas and Skyrim, that's right! Cool! Oh, that's dark. Man, I need to stop drinking absinthe before shows. Oh my gosh, what's up with that? Ooh. Well, I mean, more hit Thomas in the uh, his dome, and uh, he's dead. But no, that works too. The face would hurt as well. Nice job, though, Optimus. See, Optimus Prime's victory may be clear, but he won through sheer luck and brutality. By his own standards, he cheated and must now commit Autobot Seppuku. Whoops, that's to be Optimus. So I guess no one won. So who would have won? Like even Thomas. Uh, oh well. Or oh, hey Potter and Ron. What was there to gain from all this? I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Huh. Well, that was that. Um, what the hell did I just watch? I mean, uh, I knew, I know what Death Race is, but uh, thanks to Jeffy, but uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, knowing Optimus Prime, I wouldn't expect him to cheat like that. Uh, not just that, though, I mean, like, I mean, if you're gonna kill Thomas, you don't do it in the face. I mean, m makes sense. But you mostly do it, you know, like cut him up in half, like in the middle, like his dome. But no, I understand. Like, if, in general, if you get hurt in the face, you're gonna get hurt. And yeah, the flying car thing, as cool as that was, kind of cheated. But I, that was really cool though. Although, Harry's dead, so at least he'll get to see his parents. Uh, that was pretty funny. Um,. And the Light of McQueen, uh, sad, sadly he died, but uh, that, that thing in the tunnel was cool though. Overall though, this was really fun, like, the animation was really uh, well done, the jokes were really cool. You know, I kind of wish they went in a little more in depth about the characters and stuff, like they do a death battle, but still, for what this was, it was really cool, and I, I, I look forward to maybe watching a few more of these, because this was really cool. Uh, with that said, though, uh, what did you guys think? Did you guys like this? Did you not? Or... Uh, let me know what you think about it, and uh, I'll put a link for this video in the description below. The same for Jeffy's channel, and uh, yeah, just in general, thank you guys for watching, and uh, Jeffy, thanks for um, the suggestion for this video, dude, and uh, yeah, so with that said, I'll see you all next time. Take care.